today I will show you how to use the filters in Rent Manager. So right now we are on the tenant screen. So anytime you see this blue funnel icon, um, that is the filter icon. So if I would like to create a filter to apply, I would hit this funnel icon. Now I can name my filter. I can also provide a description. So if I want to name this Paradise Co, I can do so. A description um, isn't really necessary, um, but if it's going to help you, feel free to put one in. And then you can filter by property right here. So if you can scroll and use the drop down, let's find Paradise Cove. Select. So if you would like to save and apply this filter, that means that the filter will be available later on. Um, so if you'd like to find tenants for Paradise Cove, um, I would save and apply it. But if this is going to be a one-time use filter, then you could just hit apply. So I will hit apply. And now all of the current and future tenants will show for Paradise Cove. If I just want current, uncheck that. Um, all of my current tenants now are displayed. All of my filters will be populated right here. So all of the filters that I have saved are these guys right here. If I'd like to edit this current filter, then I would hit the drop down that's close to the filter icon where I can edit. So now it allows me to edit the filter that I just made. I could also delete this filter by hitting that drop down and delete selected filter. So the filters with POs and bills are a little bit more complex. So we can take a look at those right now. So I have a filter applied right now, so I'm just going to create a new one. So you can name this filter, so let's name it Paradise Cove. You can add a description if you want, although it's not um, required. So when I look in this column section right here, these are all of the available filters that I can apply. So you can do it by vendor, by unit, by tenant, um, requested by, the property, um, the issue date, etc. So I am just going to put property right now. Operator um, usually the, um, contains, and then the value. So the property name will go here. Um, so it's Paradise Cove, and I will just apply this one. So all pending POs for Paradise Cove. Um, will be displayed here so I can add another layer to this filter so I can add a filter to the filter that I already created so to do so I will need to edit this filter so I'm going to hit the drop down that's close to the icon and hit edit so let's say that I want to filter um, for unit number so I will select unit contains Let's do um, unit two. So all POs for Paradise Cove for unit two will display. So if I hit apply, here we go. So you can use this if you wanna do for a certain vendor at a property or a certain resident at a property. You can up keep applying the filters on top of each other. Again, if I'd like to create a new one, I can hit new. If I'd like to delete this one, I could also delete it. And then all of my filters that I have applied and saved will all be displayed right here.